In this video, I am going to show you how you can create an opt-in form in Active Campaign where you can collect name, email address, phone number, etc, etc, etc. And with this form, you can embed in any website builder, whether it's in WordPress, Wix, or in ClickFunnels. And this can be done quite easily with the form builder in Active Campaign. So let's, let's jump into my computer and I can show you how. All right, so this is my Active Campaign account. Uh, let me just walk you through on how to create the form through here. Right, last time they have a form option in the left hand side, <laughs> right in the menu section, but now they change it to site. So all you have to do is just click on site, just click on site, and then you see there's pages which you can create a simple landing page, uh, or you can just create forms. So let's just click on forms because we are just doing forms today. Let's click on forms. So now let's create a form. So name a form, test opt-in. So we are doing inline form. As you can see, this is only for upgraded stuff. But for now, simple one will do because you just want to put it into your email list. So the action, you can put it to subscribe to a list, add a tag, or email results. You can add a few actions as well. So it depends how you want to automate your things. So let's just keep it simple and just put subscribe to a list. Let's pick a list. Okay, now we just click a master contact list. Then let's click create. So what happens when people opt in inside this form, they will automatically go inside this list of your master list. It can be whatever list that you want to, it's up to you. You can even directly add the tags inside straight away as well, right? And now you have the form. Okay, now let's just go through the form one by one. So this is, uh, of course, you can add a few things here. So you can go to style and then you can see this is the normal layout that you have. Uh, this is another type of layout that you want. So you see some people like to use this, it depends on what kind of aesthetics that you want. Okay, let's just go through one by one. Okay, let's go back to fields. So fields that you can add first name, last name. Here we already put full name, so it's fine. Email, you can put phone number. You see, it's just drag and drop. It's as simple as that. All right, you can put in code as well. So in, in case you want to embed more things inside there, you can just put it there. Image, uh, for example, if you want to put your logo somewhere, you can just put an image here. Um, I, I do not want any image. So you want captcha as also can. You want people to, you know, Verify that they are a real person, you can do it there. Uh, there's also something like um, list selector and also or add a custom field, right? So this is pretty cool, right? When you click on here, yeah, if you have a few other lists, then you can see which list you want to add them in, all right? Let's delete. Uh, now you can add custom field as well. This is quite important. For example, if you have a field like, for example, date of events, or if you want to know how much they're earning, right? This is a good custom field to add in for example let's just say i just put in here i want to know your industry so you can put input text area drop down list box you can just explore whichever that you want so i just put it as a text input right so add you can see here my fields this is your industry so you just have to drag and drop and put it here right so they can type whatever industry they want you can put uh, require or not require it's all up to you so how do you go to require for example you click on here you see this option if you don't feel header, you can just remove, right? Or you can just put full name. This is inside the form. Example, you know, something like that. You can put example, so can some people like to put example just to guide people to go through it. So you can put required or not. For this is not required, you can just click on tick, make it required. Phone, also I think make it required. All these options can delete as well, right? You can just click X to delete. Right, if you want to add them back, you just go back to standard and then there's a few you can add in. So for example, if you want to put in like a paragraph, you can just use the HTML code, put it here, right? Then you can just edit accordingly. Let's say, you know, here, please put in your info below. Yeah, something like this. And you can see it appear here, which is pretty good. All right, so this is the, the basic thing of, of the form itself. So now let's go to the styling option of the form and see what else you can test about, right? You can go inside to styles. So there's a few things you can change. The color or the background, you can change to whatever color you want or keep it white. And then there's font colors up to you. There's the type of font that you want. You can choose here. The borders, if you want border. Usually when you embed in the website, so just make sure they have a slot for them to put it in. So you don't have to have a border or things like that. And then there's the button as well. Okay, so for example, whatever you want to change is not here. There's a way for you to change as well. The colors are all you can change here. Right, for the button, for the background, the colors. But for example, if you want to just edit the button, right? So you have to do is just click on inspector, go to the button, click on this, and then it appear here. So this is the code for it. And for example, you want to change the width. All you have to do is just put width equal 100%. Then you just put it there, right? 
there's a lot of other CSS options so if you want to play around with CSS go ahead and do it for example you want margin you just have a margin top for example you want 10 pixel so you can see that you see it, it, it moved down a little bit right but other than that you can just edit your text your radius your padding you can make it thicker also can um, for example you want to make the size bigger so you just have to change to font size 20 pixel so again just depends on how you want to do it so just look online for a CSS code that you can use for the styling of the form Right, so this one way you can style it. So we have went through the fields, the style. Now go, let's go to options. So this is when people submit. You can show thank you or you can show open URL. So usually we have a thank you page. So it's up to you. If you don't have, just show a URL. Thanks for signing up. You can change the name here. Uh, whatever is it that is convenient for you, right? And then uh, you can see the action here again. Add to master contact list or you can add a new, new action, right? Whether to add tag, email, results, and things like that. All right. Okay, so this one, for example, you have contact existing already. You have all the information already there. Then they opt in again. The blank field that they didn't fill up will be replaced with the existing data. So I usually don't do this. So I just untick it, right? At the form action as well, you will see there's a button here, which is opt-in options. Just click on it. For this, it's better for you to remove the opt-in confirmation. Just keep it off so that you can have more <laughs> leads coming in. Uh, because when opt-in confirmation, you get more so called more quality leads because they will need to go to their email and just to confirm that they are opt-in. Uh, but for me, I don't think this is needed. So um, it depends on how you want to do it. But usually, I'll just turn off the notification. Okay, then just click save. And that's it. So now you have the form ready. Now you want to integrate inside your website. So I'm just going to show you how you're going to integrate inside WordPress. It's the same across anywhere on Wix, on ClickFunnels, anything. You just need this method, right? You click on integrate. And then you get an embedded code that you can put inside your, your HTML uh, option inside your WordPress or whatever else, right? Or you can just click on link. Okay, if you were to click on link, you just have to double click on this. Just uh, go to the page, then you can see the form is here. Right. For example, if you want quick, you want immediately, you just send the link over and ask people to register. Right. If you want to make it nicer and you want to put it into, inside a WordPress form, then you can do it as well. Right. So now you see there's even a WordPress option here. Right. But you need to install the WordPress plugin. So this one, I'm not going through this today. You can even put it in Facebook as well. I'm just going to use the embed option. Right. So I'm just going to copy here. Control C. So you go to any of your WordPress blog. This is uh, my WordPress page. It's a sample page uh, that I have. Right. Again, as I mentioned, the blog is the same. You just have to add custom HTML block. Any website builder have this, right? So now you just have to paste it here and then you are done. You just update and then you preview page. Preview new tab and you can see the form here. Okay, so the background image, if you want to be it transparent, so just back to edit, right? And just go to style, the background, just put to uh, make transparent, right? Simple as that. So yeah, so that is how you can create a uh, active campaign form and do a little bit of styling, right? Uh, even do CSS, make it nicer, also can. And then you can put it, embed it inside of any website. You just have to have the HTML block and put the code there. As you can see here, it's there, right? All you have to do is just have the HTML block, which most website builder have. All right, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. That's how you can create an opt-in form in ActiveCampaign and also get the HTML and link it on WordPress right if you like what i share do give thumbs up like this video and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and don't know who am i hi i'm ken and i help business owners to grow using digital marketing if you're interested in topics like digital marketing or in entrepreneurship do subscribe to this channel turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video and with that thank you very much for watching and i see you in my next video subscribe goodbye